Hey yo everyone, this is the Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another walkthrough episode for the game Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Took care of all that needs to be taken care of, so. Time to make some progress. Uh. The location of the crystal sword has been added on your magical map again. Quick, let's cruise up to the professor's office. We have to tell that guy, guy about the pre princess's email. Princess's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends will want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it. How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Well, come on, give it up, Professor. What did you find out? Hmm, this is rather long, so you best uh, listen well. It's all, all of you ready. And you there, in front of the TV. You listen up, too. Did someone pile drive your head or what? I don't see a, any TV here, nut job. Oh, never mind. Oh, never you mind. Don't just, don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I write about in my book may well, well refer to this demon. It said that a monster destroyed a large town that once be stood on this very area. It also said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that, is, and that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. <laughs> According to this book, the demon was defeated in the, in the end by four heroes. What, are they the four heroes of light from Final Fantasy? Bo <coughs> but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. Hang on, I gotta blow my nose. such a mucus cake. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed, its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. And then they cast the evil beast into the vast maze and sealed the exit. From this I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish from good, good and e evil. So if they're all united, they could either steal away or resurrect the demons. It seems who wields the crystal star determines if they're used for good or evil. 
I mean for evil or good. Hey, then it isn't it possible sir, that we shouldn't gather these crystal stars? Feeling under the weather. Even if we do find them all, someone could have just steal them and re all and revive that monster. Maybe we ought to just dump the heck out of them and throw the pieces away. That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. That will get away from my game. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once the thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed will sealed shut will fail. <laughs> and unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that those goose goos want to start now may be co a co coincidence, but maybe not. In other words. Words, we must be ready to, for the demon's return, even if the x not fails. Whoa, let's roll then. We gotta get the rest of the, those crystal stars. Where's the next one at? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Kial Key. Kial Key. I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits, full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor, no more about, no more. You should head there first. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me, though I be. There's gotta be a way to just poof and get get rich, you know? Poof. There's no one by the harbor, but could go to the bar. What do you want? Ah, uh, who me? You ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I am how you say a trader, the r richest man in Roadport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is that a man whose life is unchanged must always long for yet more? Ah, what is missing from my life? This tears at my very insights. I must know what what do I lack. Money, maybe? Money, you say? Ah, yes, there is nothing like a grapefruit covered in... Ah, no, foolish Fabio. Not honey, you silly man. What you meant was money. Ah, but if it's money I need, I may be in good shape because I'm filthy rich. Wait, hold the horses. A great idea has struck. 
Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills, and emotion, and even money. Do you not know the tale, the Pirate King's treasure, hidden on Kial Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek. It is because of those very rumors that the pe people no longer go to Kial Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sa sailor of the seven seas. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a tr treasure here in Robeport. Why, talk such craziness. There isn't anything like that in the dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness uh, comes of bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? W well, hand it over, rather, I mean, show it me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kyol Key. You swan, you mean to steal my treasure out from under me? You awful, awful man. Well now, I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. But now that I am thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore that what this businessman before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Kial Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes. But the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? Ha 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 You unfortunate foolish man. Do you know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our in interpreted leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure, tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Feeling a little better now that I could breathe easy. Ah, yes, yeah, so it, w it is you. Ah, well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty, majesty of her hull. The pomp and circumstance. None can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul. Don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among the sailboats. But, Bobo, I can tell... I... Bobo, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course, the ship, the pro problem ha that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have, we have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. 
The waters around Kiol Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oh, Fla- Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me staying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papach. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard the talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in the Grove Port. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Robbery, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman touched, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul will watch seen him on the seas of late. Bata boom, problem solved. Let us scout this bar, Bobbery fella, and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, 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 sounds fair. I'm on board, sure thing. Then it is decided. You must find the Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. <coughs> what do you blocks the one? Kind of hear the rough greatest own. <coughs> you think I'm moral bobber. Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. Now go away with you. I feel like throwing up. Yeah, I'm, it still may be sick. Uh, from booze and staying up late. And then sleeping in wa very warm temperature. Even if the fan is on. You found someone who ma matches Bobbery's description, but claims he is not him. Strange. I would ask someone who is knowledgeable about this, about the neighborhood about this. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave Roadport. Well, there's someone who is knowledgeable, but I'll talk to him in the next episode. Until next time, to be continued, baby.